Fighting Illini Volleyball, the Illini uh, winners over Maryland and three straight sets tonight and Kevin Hambly digging our bumper music on the broadcast. The best thing about tonight was that bumper music. <laughs> I mean, keep on rocking in the free world. That's awesome. <laughs> well, uh, we were rocking early. I mean, we had them on their heels early. Yeah. Uh, you know, truth be said, uh, they really struggled, especially in the first set and uh, it was kind of ugly, I guess. At first, first. But, but, you know, Sometimes you play an ugly match like that and you can let the other team back on the throttle, so yeah. to speak. Talk about the whole scenario. I just, I thought they came out and gave us a ton of points early and we just relaxed the whole time. And you look at the numbers and if you tell me you're 326 and your opponent hits 053 and you're 1 and 3 in a Big Ten match, would you be happy? And normally I'd say I'd be ecstatic. That's a great match. And I feel, the whole team does, just feels like it was, you know, we just played in dead medium. We didn't play well. and. Um, we can't do that in the Big Ten, and uh, unfortunately, like they make us pay for it, which was disappointing. We don't see them again because I, I don't, I don't want to play that way. And um, we, we, I think we started out and we, we got, well, well, we got that out of them. We gave them trouble. We, we were tough for them to score, so they made errors, and then we, then we just fell right in the same kind of uh, mode that they were in. And I was just disappointed with the play. I mean. The numbers are fine, but I'm disappointed with the effort and the, the intensity and the way that we executed. Early on, I thought Ali Stark uh, was taking advantage of uh, yeah. getting some good sets uh, from both setters, and uh, so... Uh, yeah, she did well. I mean, if you look at the numbers, Jocelyn had 444, yeah. and Ali had 429, and like we, I mean, and, Al, and Morgan had 294. Those are all really good numbers. But it wasn't, it didn't... It uh, just didn't feel uh, right. Stats are gray liars yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And I think tonight they were gray liars. I brought Danielle up because I think uh, between her and Brandy, uh, our passing game is, is really starting to make strides. We're making strides, yeah. So. I thought we could have passed a little bit. I didn't think she passed fine. And, uh, Morgan and, and Jocelyn struggled a little bit passing tonight, but I thought, yeah, when well, we were in system, we could, we could score at a high level. And I thought I love that she took a swing on that ball in the back row. Yeah. We've been working on that, and I thought they played really good defense. You know, the one good thing I will say that I think is that our two right back defenders, our two setters, they dug a ton of balls tonight, and their game plan was to get attack them. And we turned those into good swings. I thought Brandy did a nice job. I think the one thing that I say like, as we've been working really hard on is setter digs, Brandy sets, we get a good swing, we get kills. Uh, you like to be positive. I'm not as positive all the time as you are. But that would be the really positive thing that sure. I thought is that we made a good, that that was exciting to see us do tonight. All right, well, that's one down in Big Ten play, and uh, what, 19 more to go, right? 19 more, you piece of cake, man. They're going to all be like this. Yeah, we get, we get Rutgers tomorrow, which will be interesting to see.